the wormhole to expedite the process. Look at these two examples. A. For the last two years, you have been hitting the gym four days a week for two hours per visit. It's a big commitment, and you've definitely sacrificed leisure time and sleep. You've lost some weight, and you would consider yourself fit. But you're still unhappy with your lack of muscle tone. The answer doesn't hit you until you ask your friend, good old Jack, to come be your workout buddy. Jack is stacked, but he's only been going to the gym three days a week for the last two months. What gives, man? You watch him and realize that Jack is putting on jacked muscle because he is constantly pushing himself to lift more and more. He has chosen to push past his own limitations and squat his own body weight, while you are comfortable to remain at a steady 100 pounds because anything heavier leaves you too sore to move the next day. B. You have been friends with Tina for two years, but you only ever talk at the office. Andrew, a new friend you've met while playing online games, has become your best buddy within a matter of a month. Why? Look at the amount of time you spend with each person. In particular, look at the memories you've made. Even though you've never met Andrew in person, you've spent hours just chatting, expediting that process that would be at least equivalent to the two years amount of rapport with Tina. While you wouldn't consider Andrew a skill, you have expedited your friendship with him in the exact same way that you can hurry a new skill set. So here's secret number one to creating a wormhole in the novice to master timeline. Immerse yourself in the experience and overcome challenges. Is bench pressing your body weight impossible? Only if you get a little sore at 75% and decide that it's your limit. Here's how.